Time Bomb is a game where you're playing as a diffuser or exploder, basically a terrorist of the bomb squad, and you're attempting to snip wires and save the buildings, or you're attempting to snip the wires and blow up the buildings. With the terrorists, you're gonna blow up the bombs, and if you're the bomb squad, you want to make sure you defuse the bombs. And this is Time Bomb Evolution by Ello. It plays four to six players, takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages eight and up. And this is a unique and different game from the original, but still holds a lot of the same base aspects. And I'll explain that in a second. The first thing is you're playing as either Moriarty, the villain of the Sherlock Holmes series, and her do evilers, or you're playing as Sherlock Holmes and Watson. It plays up to six players, so you can play with everybody if you want. And basically, Moriarty has some bombs all around the city and is trying to detonate them. And Sherlock Holmes and her crew of goodies are attempting to save the world by stopping all these bombs. And so you're going to be basically taking wires and snipping those wires with your trusty scissors and attempting to defuse the bombs. Players are all working together, or are they? Because this is a deception game and nobody knows who anybody is. And everybody is trying to basically accomplish their own unique goal as Sherlock Holmes and her fine fellow friends are trying to stop Moriarty in their secret plans and pretending to work with the group as much as humanly possible. In the Evolution game, it comes with unique bombs that always do a bunch of unique circumstances. And when you play, you're basically going to be incorporating these new bombs if you want, or simply play the base game if you don't want. I'll have Callie come over and explain the game with me after I show you down below what it looks like. And then if, you in if you're interested, you can go ahead and pick up the game down below in the description and leave me a comment as to whether or not you like this version better or the original version better. Or if you haven't played it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section and we'll finish up with an outro. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Here we have Time Bomb Evolution and everything included in the game. And as you can see, there's quite a bit. You're gonna have the rule books as well as the variant for evolution or just simply the base game here. You'll have the snippers, or if you don't wanna use these for some reason, you can use the card itself. You'll have timer tokens and markers here that you can use as well, but aren't needed. And then of course, you're gonna have Moriarty and her minion. And then of course, Sherlock Holmes and all of her good allies attempting to stop the evil villains from exploding bombs in the city. These are the bombs here. There's six different types and in the base game they don't matter as for what they are, just the color matters, but there are unique abilities for the evolution aspect. And then you've got these guys here. These are your defusers. This is what you need in order to win the game if you're playing as the heroes. And what you need to win the game as the bad guys is to get a certain number of these bombs here to be shown in the game. The game basically allows you to select a hero at random and shuffle them up, deal everybody out those heroes or villains. And then of course you'll deal out a certain number of these cards here along with these cards here based on the number of players everybody's going to get an equal number of cards and they'll all be face down and they'll have these wire sides showing and everybody's gonna have a certain number so for instance for me i might have one two three four cards in front of me and i'm gonna go ahead and then i'd shuffle them up we'll talk about how that all works in a bit here and then players are gonna go around and snip these cards and when they snip them they'll flip them over and based on what they are they'll go to the middle of the table if you get three of the same bomb to show up then on your fourth one you gotta be careful because on your fourth one it'll blow up the city and you'll lose and the bad guys will win or based on the number of players you're playing with three players if these three come out all three diffusers you win the game as the heroes and that's pretty much the basic idea of the game snipping the wires hoping you get the diffusers and avoiding the bombs or if you're the bad guys tricking people into thinking that you have a bunch of diffusers in front of you and in fact you have a bunch of bombs and they might detonate and secure Cure the victory for evil. Okay, let's come up and talk about the game with Callie and she'll explain more. So let's talk about the setup for the game, Time Bomb Evolution, just to make it easy for everybody at home. If you're already watching this and you don't know the setup, make it really quick. It's bombs equal to number of players. So in a four player game, you take four bombs and then you shuffle them up. And then it's minus cards equal to the number of players. So if you've got a four player game and you have four bombs, you take four cards away at random after shuffling the deck here. Then it's diffusers. Equal we'll to go, number of players. We'll go into the deck, shuffle, take that. shuffle, shuffle, and then hand them out to the players till all the cards are handed out. Five cards to each player. Yep. Yeah. So it's four minus four plus four, deal out five. Hopefully that's an easy way you can write it on a piece of paper since it doesn't have any reference cards or anything in the game. So it's probably easy. I always have this Michael <laughs> handy dandy reference card. And then after you've dealt out the cards, make sure that everybody looks at those cards mm -hmm. and sees what they have in front of them and then shuffles them 
and puts them out in front of them. So you know what you have, but you don't know where those cards are located. Yeah, you don't know where exactly it is, so you can't tell anyone. <laughs> then after that, there's going to be a leader. That person's going to get the little snippers, either these snippers or the snipper card. Which one's better? I like the cardboard ones. I like actually snipping. I actually like to snipping. throw this down there. So <laughs> there you go. You can choose. It's up to you which one you want. And then players are going to go around in turn order, snipping one from any player that they choose. And when you snip, you flip over a card. If it's the fourth bottom of the same color, you guys lose as the good guys. And if it is the last diffuser that there is, so in a four player game, if it's the fourth diffuser, then the good guys will win. One note is after everybody's had a turn, then you want to take all the cards everybody has, shuffle, shuffle them back them up, up again. deal them out, let people look at them, place them down in front of them. And then the player to the right of the first player so the first player will then become the second player, is going to be the leader and it'll go around again, mm -hmm. okay? And then it'll keep going through that until four rounds are up, in which case the game will end and the bad guys will win. If for some reason somebody hasn't won, which I've actually never had happen, I've played this game quite a few times. And that's pretty much the game. Exploding or not exploding, mm -hmm. the choice is yours. In the evolution, you wanna talk about it? Yeah, so in evolution there are the specific bomb types that you're playing with, the different colors, will each have a certain ability. And then, so here we have the pink one. You don't want two pink bombs to be revealed in a row. Or if you're the bad guy, you do want those two to be revealed in a row because it will explode and the bad guys will win automatically. And the yellow, on the fourth turn, you're gonna have a limited number of turns left based on the number of yellow or orange, right, bombs left in the pile. Yeah, so in a four player game, if you got two orange ones on the field, instead of having four turns in the last round, you're gonna have only two turns. Oh, uh, that one, so in the evolution as well, the diffuser card will actually diffuse that color and you can't actually then have the bad guys win by that kind of a balancing act there. But the yellow one will always be able to be explode. revealed and be explode. And yes, <laughs> if you reveal in the evolution aspect, if you reveal a diffuse, you can diffuse a bomb that has a triggered power. So it's a good way to negate a bomb. However, there's also bombs that remove the diffusers. And so it just adds a little more a little more strategy, a little more yes. unique circumstantial stuff going on in the game, which isn't needed in my opinion. Not at all. No, but if you do end up playing the game a lot, then this could be a way to kind of break up the game, add a little bit different flavor to it, and have some more, like, some more stuff It has variety. In the game. It has some variety. It changes the way the game is yeah. played, it changes the style, it changes the strategies. Mm -hmm. Time Bomb is a, a wonderful game. Yeah. It's one of my favorite small card games. The only problem I have with it is it's four players, four, five, and six players only. I wish it played less players, but that's really difficult to have, especially in a mm -hmm. game that involves hidden roles, so I don't fault it too much for that. But it is sad when I have three players and I really want to play this game. Or more players, right? It's nicer for party games to have a little bit wider range. And I'm certain I'm certain that you could actually play with more players by simply blind, buying two versions of the game <laughs> and you follow the same formula. Hmm. Number of bombs equal number of players and maybe you just make an extra bomb set if you need to. That's probably maybe, what you can maybe. do. <laughs> but regardless, I really enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun playing it. I've played the original so many times and it's it's definitely one of my favorites. I've always enjoyed it. As far as the theme goes, this is a Sherlock Holmes. Mm -hmm. and Moriarty theme. Uh, I like the steampunk aspect to it, but I'm, I'm kind of over like Sherlock Holmes games. I think the IP is like, I just want to see something new. I want to see more, an original type mm -hmm. of thing going on. It's not bad. I do like the artwork. I do like Sherlock Holmes in general. I've loved all the different movies and whatnot, yeah. but I would have been interested to see this be like a whole steampunk, its own universe style feel. Yeah, I like the steampunk uh, choice as a theme. Yes, I, I just wish it was even more embedded in the game as steampunk rather than it's really just the characters and you don't even get to you know see your character a lot because it's a hidden role game so it's not really all visible there yeah but i'm not like gonna fault them too much i yeah, mean the, the yeah. bombs do have a steampunk sort of feel uh it's got wires it's like yeah you know, yeah <laughs> yeah this, this is got the, this is the most this is uh, steampunk it does it. it does an okay <laughs> job but i do enjoy that and like, I, I don't want to dismiss it as it's a great game. It really is. The evolution aspect is cool. And if you played a bunch of 
uh, Time Bomb. Maybe or maybe you wouldn't want to buy this game for the extra little bit that it has here. I, I don't know. It's kind of up to you. Yeah. If I have the original, I probably wouldn't pick this one up. But if I don't have the original... This one's a good one. To it's, get the, yeah, instant yeah. buy. This is an mm -hmm. instant buy game for me. I really, really enjoyed this game. I think it's great for uh, any groups from four to six. Solid game, really easy to explain. And there's quite a bit of trickery that can go in and treachery as to what you tell yes. people. I want you to cut this wire in front of me, because, or this, this area in front of me, because I've got a bunch of good stuff here, but you're actually the bad guy and you got a bunch of bad stuff. Or maybe you're doing the double double cross. There's just a whole bunch of that social or interaction, but it's not as much based on luck. The only luck that there's based on is probably what you snip in front of a player who may or may not be good. So even if a bad guy plays as a good guy the entire game or everybody does, it's still possible still, to lose. Yeah. <laughs> so you can still lose the game even if everybody pretends to be a good guy. It, mm -hmm. it, it can happen quite easily in fact. But I wouldn't recommend it if you're a bad guy <laughs> still. <laughs> no, you don't want to. You do but want I'm just to saying, lie and So I would say it's actually fairly that. challenging for the good guys mm -hmm. to win in this game because it's not it is likely for the good guys to win on the other hand, but it's a lot less likely, I would say. As far as just random chance? Yeah. Mm. Maybe, I, I think. Know. I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's a balance because there's four diffusers and four. There's just so many more bombs. And I so if you got three bombs and three bombs yeah. and three diffusers, you're going to have two opportunities to lose with bombs and only one opportunity to lose with a diffuser. But hopefully you are playing it socially or embracing that part of the game because I think that's what makes it fun. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree. The social aspect is needed in the game. I just think about it on the terms of I think it's definitely I got a more leaning towards the bad guys. I think the bad guys are a little more likely to win the game, which is fine anyway because mm -hmm. there's more good guys in the game. That balances so, it out. So it does balance that out to a certain extent. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too into it, but I just I, I always see the bad guys. You know, I, my my friends like pick me. I have the last one. I'm like great. Snip. Oh, I picked it. I blew up. My friend was actually a good guy, but he also had a bomb, but we couldn't he last another round. Remember so it was a bad color sometimes the game yeah. comes down to 50-50 as well. Yes. It can happen. You have to pick a wire. So. It has to be from this player. It goes along with the theme of the bomb's going to explode. Which wire do you choose? Yeah. <laughs> Artwork's great. Style's great. The theme, I like steampunk, but I would have liked to see a unique individual world to it. And it's definitely a game I'd recommend to anybody who likes these small Elo games right next to the Welcome to the Dungeon. If you don't already have Time Bomb. If you don't already have Time Bomb, yes. <laughs> so pick it up if you want. Let me know what you think in the description below if this is something more robust than the original Time Bomb and worth picking up in addition to. If it's a game you wouldn't pick up, it's a game you would pick up. Why or why not? I'm curious as to what you think. Let us know. And then we will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and check out Callie's Corner videos. Yes. We have a new giveaway. Go ahead. A uh, giveaway going on. It is a family style bundle of games, including villagers and a few other small games. Uh, check it out on the website, unfilteredgamer.com. Click the little giveaway tab. You'll see it there. You can enter the win a bunch of different times, a bunch of different ways. And, and daily. Yeah. And it's, she has a video that, can, that discusses mm -hmm. all the different games if you guys want to pick it up. It'll be fun. So. Do, do check that out. We do greatly appreciate it. And our website's got a ton of new content. So I want you guys to jump on there and see that we're putting more effort into it and, and that it's going to be worth your while. We've got interviews. Another interview with uh, Andrew Bosley. Um, I'd say he's a fa fairly good acquaintance of mine. And he's a great guy. And he's got some great artwork. And he's got a, it's got a nice discussion piece that him and Brian, one of my site managers and writers, uh, did, did with. you know. Mm -hmm. So check it out if you'd like. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to... I got it. I got it. Not blowing up the bomb with you. D diffusing the bombs with you. Next, Next time. time. That was much better than the first one. <laughs>